Now, you have been an advocate for women and men in leadership, but specifically women in leadership in your organization. Do you want to talk about the investments you've made really over the last, what, seven to 10 years in really creating paths for women at Yale New Haven Health? I um, feel that a diverse leadership team, like many of us, I think, feel is critical to success because you can't have everybody um, look uh, the same or bring the same points of view. And, you know, we have been still largely a white male culture. And um, one of the things that a member of my board told me um, several years into this role was that I should be spending 20 to 25 percent of my time on talent development. And I thought, well, that's absurd. How am I going to spend that much time? I will tell you that I spend every bit of 25 percent and more now. And part of that is helping to build um, uh, the tools, the skills, the opportunities for people to grow in leadership And part of it is also getting into that sponsorship, advocacy, as well as mentorship, making sure that, you know, we don't unintentionally let um, tradition dictate how people move forward. So specific to your um, question, around the time that Sheryl Sandberg published Lean In, um, a uh, woman who worked with me, uh, Gail Capizalo, is our senior strategy person and, you know, who was a, is a force of nature still, uh, came to me and said, you know, we need to do more for women at the frontline levels in the organization, at the department head and manager level. And we should um, create a leadership development you know, opportunity for these women. And let's call it lean in and let's, you know, have them read Cheryl's book. Let's talk about it. And, um, you know, like any good CEO representing, you know, 28 or 29,000 people, I said, well, Gail, we can't do that just for women because, you know, what are the, you know, men going to say? What are people who are uh, Latino going to say? What, you know, I'm thinking of everybody else. And Gail basically said to me, yeah, Marna, that's really nice and important, but we're going to do this. And um, (laughs) (laughs) yes, she would. (laughs) She would. Yeah. And so we did it. And That was about seven years ago, I think, and it is still alive and well. Uh, We've probably taken 300 plus women leaders um, through Lean In. It has a didactic component. So there's work to be done about, you know, how we think about leadership, how we grow and develop.